completion percentage best in the conference. And they set up a screen. C.J. Baxter, the true freshman running back. We initial call from Steve Sarkeesian, a little misdirection screen. First play of the game, the defense is going to pin their ears back, very aggressive. They're coming after it. When you... Leading running back now with Jonathan Brooks out due to injury. Like most of the top teams, they have a lot of depth and talent. C.J. Baxter, a lot of running. And a great block on the edge, too, by the two tight ends. Gunnar Helm, number 85, and number zero, J.T. Sanders. A couple of times last week against Texas Tech with a lower body injury, but didn't seem hampered at all. Take care of some of those short routes. 3-3-5 three, three, defense. Here's some trickery. It's a flea flicker, and it works to perfection. Jatavion Sanders wide open. Tavian Sanders over here, he's just going to lately get out on the little wheel route after all the misdirection. Hand it off, and they fake the reverse, pitch it back to Ewers. Keeps his eyes downfield, does a great job of protection, holding on forever. Six for six start. And this is a very aggressive Oklahoma State defense. The linebackers are outstanding. And so far, Steve Sarkeesian saying, we got to get these guys running sideline to sideline. They've gone with some misdirection. They've gone with some bootlegs. They work the edges of the defense, and then they come in with a trick play off the flea flicker for a wide open score. It's been a terrific script to start the game for Steve Sarkeesian and the Longhorns. Mitchell in the corner, and then a little reverse. Pitch it back to the flea flicker. JT Sanders, who's so patient, staying along the line of script. Eight plays, 123 yards for the Longhorn offense. Five minutes to go, first quarter, third possession for Texas. They've scored with ease on the first two drives. And they're going to keep doing that if men are wide open like Caleb. At Iowa State and TCU in this conference. Out of the 3-3-5, three, three, here's Blue again. By the left guard, Hayden Connor. He goes and gets a piece of Colin Oliver, who's coming. In his third straight game. Ewers checks it down for Blue. And Ewers delivers an accurate throw. Went for nine yards. Here's Blue. That is second to last in the conference ahead of only Houston. But it's surprised they're not stopping it to take a deeper look in the replay booth. C.J. Beckham. Twisting around there. Sanders spins away, has a first down. At the very least, why wouldn't they stop the play to take a closer look at it? If you have to stop it there. Takes down another big gainer. There's still over 300 yards of offense for the game. Tight end screen to Sanders. Woo. Good tackle, or that had much more in it. Trey Rucker made the stop. Game ending play, a strip in the second overtime, and fumble recovery. Nicholas Martin just kind of loses track of Sanders, who they hit on the screen, and you're... Blue in trouble and swung down for... Whittington, a senior, actually participated in senior day each of the last two seasons. Tremendous student. Whittington for Texas. And that's such a difficult matchup for Daniels. Whittington, look at the ball in high school. A screen. Another tight end screen to Sanders. Another successful tight end screen, which takes them inside the 15 to the 14. Colin Clay ran him down. And a great job, too, by the left tackle, Kelvin Banks. He gets just enough of Trey Rucker to spring Sanders up into the open field, and he's so good after the catch. Such a close call. The call does stand. C.J. Baxter. Bang. Sanders. Sanders down the sideline. First down. That was against the best fourth down defense in the country this season, Oklahoma State, 12-yard gain. And so many people have instituted that bush push, the tush push, whatever you want to call it. Just the fifth fourth down conversion against Oklahoma State all year. Viewers, 
throws it away. And the crowd eerily silent to begin this the second half. A lot of them still enjoying the hospitality of this mammoth stadium. Country this year in field goals made. 28 and 26 respectively. Neither's kicked one today. Auburn missed one. And a 19 straight field goals made streak. Broke the mark that we showed you a moment ago set by Sam Bradford. Jaden Blue has the first down. Holly Gordon went to the Cowboys locker room. He has run back onto the field. Seemed to be moving well. Adonai Mitchell. But the clock is running. Prior to the snap, not all 11 players are set. False start, number zero, offense. Five-yard penalty, so second down. We have a bunch of guys who like to talk. It all starts at noon <laughs> after Sunday NFL countdown on ES wins later this afternoon against Georgia. Here's Ewers taking off running. Be smart. Not taking him into the tent, so apparently they don't think it's any big deal. Murphy is the quarterback. And they smart. Well, the goal is to show off a well-rounded, talented team in all facets of the game. They're doing that again today. I think most people felt they were there already. Sanders, another catch. 17-yard gain, and he's three yards away from the third 100-yard receiving game of his career. He's already the only Texas tight end who's ever had two games of 100 yards receiving in a career. We talk about talent everywhere. He's about as talented as there is. There's Brock Bowers and then uh, Sanders will be right there in the conversation. Texas fans will hold their breath with the news on that injury. They go for it on fourth and one. And why not Sanders? His eighth catch gives them a first down and takes him over 100 yards receiving. 93 career catches. Here's Baxter. Keelan Robinson, the running back, went in motion. Viewers look toward him, throws to the end zone instead for Sanders with Kendall Daniels, the rover. They get another first down at the one. Robinson, room outside. They won't catch him. Touchdown, Texas. Job by the offensive line, the left tackle, Banks, and the double team between Hayden Connor, the left. Put enough of his uniform on just to be on the field for the championship game. What a smart and classy gesture by Steve Sarkeesian for the great running back. So Texas wins the fourth 